Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNA video pop quiz and lab for you that's going to go a little beyond the question. So even if you think you know the answer to today's question, uh, be sure to stick around for that. And obviously from the title of this one, uh, I've been watching Parking Wars. It's been a marathon on today. I don't know if you've seen that show, very popular show I imagine on A&E. And uh, I could be a parking enforcement officer for about 20 seconds. <laughs> I don't think I could. Uh, don't think I could handle that. I think I need to stay where I am. I admire those people. Uh, just a moment. Uh, mention here before we get to today's question. For a very limited time, and I mean limited, you can get a free hard copy of my CCNA Bulldog Study Guide with your enrollment in my CCNA Video Boot Camp. You definitely want to check this out. My printer's screw up is uh, your gain, and that's out at the Brian advantage.com very first thing at the top of the page and if you think you can't wait for us to have a new website you have no idea how I feel about it now let's get to today's question in lab if a Cisco router cannot find a valid startup config during the boot process which of these four things is going to happen and I'm going to show you one of these in action but we're going to talk about a couple others while we're here is it going to go to user exec mode is it going to prompt you to begin a configuration dialog? Is it going to shut down because the post failed? Or is it going to boot into Raman mode? What do you think? Well, when I bring up the router this time, it's pretty much going to give you the answer. So let's walk through them on the board real quick, and then I'll bring the live equipment up. Now, if you can't find a startup config file, you're definitely not going to boot to user exec. So that's one we can eliminate right away. Now, it's C, the router will shut down due to the failed post. This is one of those answers you have to watch because if the post fails, the power on self test, the router is going to end up shutting down. But, and you knew that shoe was going to drop, but not finding a valid startup config file is not considered a failed power on self test. That's more like it's checking for memory corruption. You know, the number one post that fails really uh, is a fan. They'll call it an environmental concern or something like that on the screen. But if the fan isn't working, there's no reason for the router to boot up because it can't possibly stay running. Uh, so that would be a power on self-test failure and that would shut the router down. But that a valid startup config file missing uh, is not a power on self-test. What the router is actually going to ask you to do is or present you with is this musical question, would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog, yes or no? And it looks like a simple little question here. We're going to say yes, just an innocent little question. Uh, and then you go in here and maybe you don't want to do it. Now what this config dialog does, it asks you if you want to start setup mode. And that's what we're in right now. And if you start going through here, and it, to me it's kind of a clumsy way to set the box up. Uh, uh, some people like it, so if you like it, more power to you. Uh, but I'm not crazy about it, and what I have found is that a lot of people will get about this far into it and say, you know, I really just want to do it from the command line, but they don't know how to get out. And this is one you got to know, and a lot of people don't, but you do, because you know it is Control-C. It actually does tell you at the very beginning of the dialogue, uh, but of course on the exam, you're not going to get that kind of luxury. So you need to know that it's Control-C, and let's take a moment to see what happens. And you'll see a line that says configuration aborted, no changes made, and don't expect to be back at the command line immediately. Uh, let's just hang out here and see about how long this one takes. So if we go back to the question, the correct answer would be B. So we know that's a configuration dialog if we can't find the startup config file. And we still haven't gotten back up there yet. So let's just wait it out. And what's going to happen here if you keep going, because I rarely go farther than this in my videos, it is going to ask you a question about everything under the sun. It's going to ask you about every interface on your router. It's going to ask you about just about every single thing the router can do. Uh-oh, running out of ad lib material. Now what am I going to talk about? <laughs> Let's just stick around and see how much longer that takes. There we go. Press return to get started. That's what I wanted you to see. You do have to do that one more time. And then in a few seconds, you get tons of lines. Uh, do not panic because all it's doing is giving you a message about all your line protocols and your interfaces being shut down. And then finally, at the very end, this is what it's going to do. You're at the command line and you're just dropped off at router and you got to start from there. So now you know about setup mode, what's going to, what happens to make you go in, and of course, how to get out. Hope you enjoyed today's video pop quiz. I run 
doing these several times a week, so make sure to join us out on YouTube and subscribe to the feed, and I'll see you on Twitter and Facebook as well. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA part of your certification success story.